right now, and I thought I'd take this time to showcase some of our machining that we do. These are some cylinder heads we're prepping right now. They've been surfaced, valve jobs have been started. They're kind of midway right now. Here's the, he's getting new valves, valve springs, seats, and retainers. Here's one of the cylinder heads that we did quite a bit of work to actually. The twin plug has been done. It's got new valves, surface is done. This one has had a little bit of porting. Over here we've got a 2-2 that I'm putting together. See right here, crank polishing. That's nice, I mean you can see the reflection of my finger in that. We've got just the standard stuff in here, new chains. This is the other half of the case, he's getting the twin turbo studs. Spot face and clean up the through bolts. This is important, these take a little bit of a beating. And you can see a little bit of a chamfer there. We, we put a slight chamfer on there, but less is more. You don't want to go crazy with that chamfer or else the O-ring won't seal. And here are the pistons and cylinders we're using for that. These are also the Mahler replacements. Wristbands, clips. You can see there's a little bit of a dome on that there. So those are going to work really well. I'm going to take a second here to uh, give you guys a little tip. You can do this at home. It's really easy. You can see this engine right here is covered in oil, obviously, and that's what you don't want. A lot of times, the most of it comes from this engine vent cover. You can see how it's just cascaded over the sides of the engine. So what you can do is set up some type of, this is a surface plate, you can use a flat plate. I, as, as straight as something as you can get. So this is a common, you know, this is what they look, it's old magnesium. And what we're gonna do is check the, Check and see how flat this is. Okay, you can see right there. The shiny spots are where it's actually touching on the case. So you're not really sealing as much all the way around here. So what you do is just keep going like this. I go in a circular pattern. And you just keep going. You can see that it's starting to touch over here now. So just keep going until you get this nice and flat. What grid is this? This is 220. Okay. Um, there again, less is more. You don't want to go crazy on the pressure. Okay. But uh, that's something you can do at home. Stop some of your major oil leaks and keep you in the loop.